The River That Wolves Moved, A True Tale from Yellowstone, written by Mary Kay Carson and illustrated by David Hone. The River That Wolves Moved, A True Tale from Yellowstone, written by Mary Kay Carson and illustrated by David Hone, published by Sleeping Bear Press. Look deep into nature, and then you will understand everything better. Albert Einstein This is the river that wolves moved. This is the pack so fury and fast that hunts near the river that wolves moved. Yellowstone was without wolves for more than 70 years. Then, in 1995, wolves were set free in the National Park. These gray wolves quickly grouped into packs, started hunting, and had pups. Eight or so wolf packs patrol the park today. Each pack has 11 to 12 wolves. These are the elk, watchful and strong, who are prey for the pack that hunts near the river that wolves moved. When wolves were gone, elk had fewer predators to worry about. Large herds gathered in river valleys near fresh water, tasty plants, and tender trees. Once wolves were back on the prowl, elk became prime prey. The hunted herds grew smaller. Now the elk watch out for wolves and keep on the move. These are the willows, thick-rooted and bushy, that are chomped on by elk who are prey for the pack that hunts near the river that wolves moved. Elk used to munch down bush-like thickets of water-loving willow trees. But once the wolves started hunting, there were fewer hungry elk near the river. Willows and other plants and trees grew back. Colorful songbirds now build nests in these trees. The birds search along the river for tasty bugs. With willows to eat, beavers moved back in and built dams. Beaver dams slow water flow and create pools along rivers. These ponds become homes for frogs, ducks, dragonflies, and other bugs. This is the bank made of dark muddy soil held in place by the willows that are chomped on by elk who are prey for the pack that hunts near the river that wolves moved. A bank is where river meets land, where water touches dirt. Plant and tree roots grasp the soil, holding river banks in place. When the wolves were gone, the elk feasted on trees, leaving the river banks bare and brown. Rushing water ate at the banks, creating swift rivers with sharp zigzag turns. Now that willows and other trees have regrown, river banks are stronger. The web of roots helps support and protect the banks from the pushy water. Yellowstone's rivers now flow more slowly in gentler S-shaped curves. This is the water that runs clear and cold, flowing in between banks held in place by the willows that are chomped on by elk, who are prey for the pack that hunt near the river that wolves moved. Fast-flowing water carries away bits of rock and soil from the river bank. This is called erosion, and it muddies the water. A river bank supported by tree and plant roots has less erosion. The grasping roots hold on to soil and help keep the water clear. 
These are the fish, spotted and sleek, that glide through the water, flowing cold between banks, held in place by the willows, that are chomped on by elk, who are prey for the pack, that hunts near the river that wolves moved. Some fish, such as cutthroat trout, only breed in clear, cool water. They lay their eggs on sparkling gravel, not mud-covered river banks. Trees also shade the river, keeping its water cool. This is the child in the quiet of dusk who seeks the sleek fish that glide through the water, flowing cold between banks, held in place by the willows that are chomped on by elk, who are prey for the pack that hunts near the river that wolves moved. These are the wolves howling, Ow! that are heard by the child who seeks the sleek fish that glide through the water flowing cold between banks, held in place by the willows that are chomped on by elk, who are prey for the pack that hunts near the river that wolves moved. Yellowstone's valleys and rivers changed with fewer hungry elk around. Forests of trees and bushes grew back on hillsides and river banks. River banks, supported by roots, eased erosion, clearing the water and slowing its flow. Changes brought on by wolves helped reshape the landscape. This is the river that wolves moved. Can wolves really move rivers? Without wolves, too many elk were eating up the plants that held river banks in place. What causes a river to take a particular path? How steep the land is, rock types, and depth of water all affect where and how a river flows. So do plants, trees, animals, and other living things. An ecosystem includes both living and non-living things interactive in an environment. With wolves preying on elk, the riverside plants regrew, changing the path and pace of flowing water. This is how wolves move rivers. Wolves boost the variety of living things, the biodiversity, by preying on elk and coyotes. Fewer elk causes an increase in the kinds of birds, fish, frogs, and plants living along the rivers. A smaller number of coyotes means more rabbits and squirrels for foxes, badgers, and golden eagles to hunt. The Greater Yellowstone Ecosystem The Wolves of Yellowstone when Yellowstone National Park was created in 1872, rangers and ranchers legally hunted, trapped, and poisoned wolves. By the early 1900s, all of Yellowstone's wolves were gone. Over time, park scientists learned the importance of predators and decided to bring wolves back. In the winter of 1995, Wildlife experts moved 41 wild Canadian wolves into the park. About 500 gray wolves live in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem today. As this book went to print, Yellowstone's wolves face a new threat. Montana and other states bordering the park lifted many hunting restrictions on wolves. Trophy hunters killed more than 20 Yellowstone wolves that wandered outside park boundaries in 2022. Which river was moved by wolves? The river illustrated in this book represents any one of a number of Lamar River tributaries in the northeastern corner of Yellowstone National Park's Lamar Valley region where scientists have documented changes in tree and plant growth since the wolves were reintroduced.
country without wolves isn't really good country. It's incomplete. It doesn't have its full spirit. Doug Smith Can wolves really move rivers?